watch the color change. It's changing. It's changing again. Hey guys, today we're making. Oh, in view of the Mid Autumn Festival um, in Mandarin, I believe it's called Tong Chiu Jie. It's the Mooncake Eating Festival where kids get to play with lanterns. And today, I'll be making this. It's a handmade lantern where you can actually get it off. Um, I believe I got it from Giant, so it, it comes with a few stuff inside where you have to assemble it yourself. DIY! But look at it, I, I got this, this one. So they do have others and you know, it's really good to know about this so you can do it next year. I know this video is gonna be a bit late. It's a little rushed, so let's see what we have inside. Oh, and uh, just so you know, I paid, oh it's from, it's from Giant, I paid $4.50 for it. Little. Let's see what we have inside. And, and off the bat, I need to say that this is actually pretty cool. It has lights. Okay, but that shifted the focus of it. Let's see. Look at it. Right, let's, let's see what the finished product is gonna look like. I'll just leave this out for a while. Um, there's, been, there's this stick where you just hang the lantern off it, I believe. There's a small little string. Haven't figured out what that is. And, uh, ooh, googly eyes! Everyone loves googly eyes. Googly eyes makes everything awesome. Like, um, I don't have anything that needs googly eyes right now. Uh, maybe my hand. Okay, just like that. Uh, apparently these are self-adhesive so it sticks on and it's all pre-cut. Well, stenciled in. Get that, nope. The uh, lighting's pretty bad so... Um, these are all stenciled in, it's all like pre-cut so all you have to do is just like trace it and just rip it out. So there's green, there's red, um, white, green, and there's this, oh god what's this, oh man, purple-ish thing. Always bear in mind, this is what the finished product should look like, just in case I screw up. I'll leave this on the side, focus it a bit more. And they have um, yellow, so I'm guessing this is the beak-ish, I hope. Uh, the actual lantern itself, nothing special about it, it's actually a paper lantern. Um, nowadays there are lots of plastic lanterns, which is good, which doesn't catch fire. Um, this one comes with an LED light, so I'm guessing it won't catch fire unless you set it on fire. Uh, comes with this. I haven't really figured out what this is yet so let me just take a quick look at the instructions. Instructions for bamboo lantern and wire lantern expander. Just take a quick look see if I can zoom it in. There you go. There's nothing behind. Da 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 da. Step one. Open up the lantern. Oh crap that was hard. Ta -da! Oh, that's not too bad. Step two. Insert funny looking object into the lantern. What? This way? Oh. Oh, I see how it is. I think, I hope. This so I don't break it. 
there is actually some instructions on this, let's see. Expand lantern, inserting, expander, true large, aperture on top of lantern, figure 2. Press the expander, insert convex B into one of the island A. Yes. Okay, so I'm guessing this hook-ish thing goes into this round little thingy. Oh no, it's gonna be so tight. That's what she said. Dang it. Ain't fitting. I'm sure it'll fit. Some way. Come on. There you go. Come on. There you go. Realign the inside, and there you go, the lantern's ready! Refocus a bit. There it's in. It's a nice little square ish square. Damn it, brain! It's a nice little round sapphirical lantern. Okay, so um, that's the start of it. Uh, adjust the length of electric cord and make electric light off. Man, this ain't easy. I'll figure that out somewhere, somehow. Leave this aside for a quick second. Unfortunately, no, it's still not in yet. I'm sorry. So let me just try to figure out how to get the light into the lantern. Okay, I guess that's good enough. So if we do turn it on, the lantern glows. It even changes color, holy crap! Wow, okay, this, this cost me 450 and I'm really impressed by it. So uh, let me just turn off the lights first. And let's get to making the face. Or the whatchamacallit. Before that, always refer to picture. I don't know how the feet supposed to look like. We do have some dots on it, I'm not sure what it's for. Okay, okay, okay. That's not too bad. So let me just try to settle this down on the googly eyes so it doesn't roll around too much. Too much. So much for that. Alright, just leave this in the corner here. Let's see what we can do with this piece. self-adhesive so I don't know how or what we're supposed to do with the feet. I should want to stick two of it together. It sure looks like it. Oh man, I hope I'm not making a mistake. out. So far so good. And I believe we gotta do this. Oh wow. It's really really flimsy so you gotta be gentle with it. That's what she said. Dang it. Alright. Um, this side. And this side. So what I did is basically I just stuck both of them together from the tip up and 
and uh, make sure it doesn't close all the way to the top. Leave about a small little gap and just stick it on. Try to be as even as possible. But then again, it's a DIY, DIY project, so people will forgive you if it looks horrible. They hope. Right? People are nice, right? Right? The feet are too close. Oh, thank God. I'd say that doesn't look too bad. Okay, so um, give him some belly spots. Yes, owls like belly spots. Wondering a small little dot thing. And ta da! This really doesn't look too bad. I'm just comforting myself. Okay, so moving on. Move this aside. Um, let's do the eyes. Right, eyes. So we got a big patch here, and it's circular in shape. So just try not to screw it up because this will be like the most prominent thing on the owl's face. And I will... Okay. Easy does it. There you go. Okay. It's there. Oh, did I screw up? Oh shit. It's alright, it's alright, everything's good. It's all good. It's all still good. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's okay. Okay, so um, the remaining parts of the purple is actually for the ears. I'll get to that shortly. I still haven't figured out what the string is for. Um, the yellow is gonna be for the beak, so let's do that after we finish the eyes. So this white part of it is for his eyes. If I can get it out. And try to get it in the center before my OCD kills me. I don't feel very OCD-ish today, so it's fine. It's fine! It's a DIY project! Like this wasn't cut completely. We're just gonna rip it out and stick it on the purple. I mean, so far that doesn't look too bad, right, guys? Okay, it looks kind of creepy. Let's get the eyes in. Googly eyes rocks. Googly eyes are the reason why people have funny things to do. Googly eyes rocks, that's all, that's all I have to say. Googly eyes one. And uh, googly eyes two. Two, god dang it. Okay, okay, alright, alright, it's taking shape. It doesn't look too bad. I'm comforting myself again, so I'm actually readjusting the eyes. And the big purple part. You got googly eyes now. Woo! Woo! It doesn't look like an owl yet. Okay, so what's next? Let's see. Um, let's beak him up. Now 
he looks like something. Okay, so we're done with the white. Done with all these. Let me just put this aside. The green are the wings. This one actually comes in two triangles. Uh, you know, just stick the top half together and just leave leave a small little gap at the bottom so it sticks. I might be wrong, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's gonna be so terrible. Not bad. Not bad. I might try to refix the legs and see if I can do it better in case it falls out. Okay, same thing, I'm gonna stick the top part first. Oh, that's so close. So once it's stuck, I don't think you tear it open and it's not the best idea to do it as well. This one, there are a few more others. I hope they have it again next year. I would love to make some more. And it's really, really fun. It's really cool. And if you have kids, you know, you can get them involved as well. They can just decorate it or design it any way they want. Alright, so um, that's me with the DIY lantern. <laughs> 